Hey Flosstube, this is Kate, the Queen of Starts, and it's very gray today, so I don't have a lot of lighting. I never have a lot of lighting. Uh, I think it's Thursday. Yeah, I think it's Thursday. The teenager's bowling, so it's Thursday. I'm very sorry. I'm, I'm very tired. <laughs> uh, it's been a rough fibro week, and, um, and I get to look forward to more meds and different meds, because I just went, came back from the doctor's. So, but you didn't turn in to see the Fibro channel. You turned in to see the, the cross-stitch channel, didn't you? Oh, goodness. I finally got caught up in my comments. Oh, I love all your comments, and I feel awful I've gotten so far behind. But I'm, I'm all caught up now, so I'm going to be better about answering those. So it's Thursday, and it's the 5th of November. Yep, it's November 5th. Wow. That's scary. So, and you know, I was supposed to do a finished video last week. That didn't happen. Still working on that. But, uh, I have a lot to show you. It's not going to fit in this video. I'm going to do what I can. Teenagers bowling, babies asleep. I'm going to do what I can. So this one, I'm trying to break this up. If I can never figure out how to make longer videos. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's good to break them up. See, I'm just rambling about nothing. I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm very tired. Uh, this is a haul video. Just haul. It really is a lot. It all came in at once, and I still have a bunch of stuff that just hasn't shown up yet. And I'm going to... My mailman's been avoiding me, because I'm stalking him. I'm like, where are my needle minders? Anyway, I have a bunch of stuff to show you, though. No particular order. Um, I don't have all my needle minders here, either. I try to, I, I totally mean to show you them when they come in, and then I get so excited and they get dispersed among different projects. So, I have some of the ones I've ordered recently, so I'll show them to you. Uh, needle minders, let's start with needle minders. These are from Gina's Unique Boutique, and we have Sally. Oh, it's gosh, it's so dark in here. I could open the window, but I don't think that's going to work. Uh, all right. Hopefully I don't knock the camera over. Yeah, that kind of sort of not really helped. I really got to stop making them in the afternoon. Okay. Anyway, there's Sally. And, he and here's the funny thing. You'll notice she only has one leg. She didn't have one leg when I got her. She had two legs. I don't know where the other leg went. And I was going to mention it to Gina. And I said, you know what? I actually like Sally with one leg. Because it's like the movie. She's always taking her arms off. So, I, I don't know. I like her with one leg. She's she's different. And so, of course, for, ja for, for what's her name? Sally. You get to deal with my fuzzy brain. Yay. Aren't y'all lucky? There's Jack. And I do have Zero. He's on one of my... One of my whips. Um, the one I meant to show you that's out there. I have another video. Okay. Anyway, that's that one. Oh, and I also got, so I got Jack and Sally and Zero. And I also got the Queen of Hearts. Queen of Starts needs anything related to the Queen of Hearts. So, love her. Oh, look, she's so pretty. So I got those from Gina. Um, I got a lot of really cool ones from uh, Jeannie. Well, those are really cool too. I like those. Um, but I got a bunch from Jeannie from Minding My Minders, but I only have a couple of them with me. They're all on whips, so I'll have to find them. <coughs> Excuse me. But one of the really cool ones was Snoopy and Woodstock in the Pumpkin. I love it. I love it. I love Snoopy. So, going to see the Peanuts movie. Um, another one I got, I got another really cool Snoopy one too, but I don't have it with me, is my Minion. Ooh. This is kind of cool, see? It's it's 3D. Got a little dome over it. It's really cool. And blingy. Love my Minion. My Minion right now is guarding Elizabeth. Who I did not get to work on it nearly as much as I wanted to last month. But I'm not going to show her. 
because this is a haul video. <laughs> You're gonna have to wait. Okay. So I actually got three, three or four more from Minding My Minders that I have to find. <laughs> find a mind. Awesome. Okay. Um, another needle minder order. This one came from, this was my first order from Melissa, and I'm not going to attempt her last name because I'm going to botch it. So, but she's from Stitchy Time Creations. She has a Facebook group and an Etsy group. So, um, I ordered some from her for these two sets I ordered. I, I just had to have them. Had to. So, first up, we have our Fibro Needle Minders. I've gotten a lot of compliments on these because there are a lot of us. There are a lot of Fibro Stitchers. What's up with that? So, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. But first off, we have... Oh, no light is what we have. Uh, keep calm and fight fibro. And this one, I wish you could see it. It says, I fight fibro. What's your superpower? So, two fibro needle minders. And then... Two cross stitch needle minders. There is no such thing as too much stash. And procrastinate. To cross stitch when I'm trying to read backwards. To cross stitch when you could be doing housework. Love them. So those are fun. And this is this is kind of haul. I mean, I made these, but the, this is haul. I bought them. So I bought a couple things the other day uh, from Hobby Lobby to make into needle minders. And I bought uh, three sets. They're um, charms for a necklace. You buy them in the beading department at Hobby Lobby. And they're little books. I'll, I'll zoom in. Don't worry. But uh, they have a little... Okay, I'll zoom in now because it's I can't tell. All right, so this one is Little Snow White. And it's, it's so... I don't know why it says little, but it just does. Um, but it's so neat. The detail is really cool. And they even have the author, the Brothers Grimm, on the spine. I had shown these before when I made the last set. But, um, but yeah, they have a little O-ring here that just twists off, comes off. It's very nice. So we have Little Snow White. We have... King Arthur. Okay, be good. They've all been getting fresh with each other and snapping together. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. That's my favorite. Peter Pan. Sorry, that was the needle binders. They're jumping all over the place. Jack and the Beanstalk. Good magnets. <laughs> They're great magnets. Wuthering Heights. Little Red White Riding Hood. Now I'm Elmer Fudd. Little Red Riding Hood. Robin Hood. See, you got me today. I am... No, I'm not on drugs. Actually, I am. But the good legal kind. I feel like I should be on more. Little Women. And that's, a, oh, yeah, there were nine books, and I had, I have ten magnets per package. So I needed to pull out two packages, and then I only had two magnets left, and I said, I don't want to put those away. So I pulled out one of my, I have a bunch of stuff to be made into needle minder, so I pulled out one of my little gingerbread men and made a needle minder. I think he's a button. Anyway, so I made those. Those are fun. And yesterday I actually ordered um, a big supply of the larger magnets so I can make the bigger needle minders. I don't remember the name of the company I ordered from. Um, I can tell you, if you go to Trisha, the left-handed stitchers, needle minder tutorial video, in the description is the link, because that's what I used. So I have no idea where they're coming from. That's encouraging, right? Okay, so that was needle minders. Let's talk fabric and floss. I got my Moe's floss for the month. Adam's family line. Oh, hey, the sun came out. How nice. Now I have this awful glare. I'm not getting up to close the blinds. Because I'm not. Okay, so we got our... Hold still. We got our... Um, I just said it. Adam's family line. Floss. So pretty. So pretty. So we have Uncle Fester. 
Yeah, okay, that's just so not showing up at all. Ugh, awful glare. Better? Oh, better. Much better. Okay, this is Uncle Fester. Kind of dark. I play with the lighting here. I don't edit videos, so you get what you get. Um, It's kind of a blue-gray and brown. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I like that. Pugsley. Pugsley is a... Pugsley is a tan. Nope, that is... Oh, gosh, that is awful. <sighs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm going to close the blinds again. Too much light or not enough? <laughs> Take your pick. <sighs> now I get to sit here because that really hurt. How you doing? Oh, glory I hurt today. Pugsley. I was showing you Pugsley. Okay, oh, that's, that's better. See, Pugsley's kind of a light brown. Pretty. Um, next up, we have Mermaid Tail. Oh, that's right, that's right. There was one extra. See, I didn't even look at this. This is pretty. I love this. Look at that. It's actually more of a, an aqua than it's showing up. It's showing up more of a blue. But it's actually more of an aqua. Kind of a teal um, in different shades. Very pretty. So Thing is brown and orange and blue. There's Thing. Lurch is carrying a thread. Lurch is pink and blue. Isn't that pretty? Wish I could see that better. Wish you could see that better. Cousin It is kind of a melon and a brown. I like that one. That one's cool. Next up is Wednesday. Pretty, pretty orange and mauve. It's more of a mauve than a red. It's not as it's not as dark as it's showing up. Um, it's more pastel-y. Who's this? Gomez. Gomez is an aqua and an orange. A little bit of gray. And Grandmama is gray and orange. And Morticia is pink and brown. Ooh, I love pink and brown together. Look at that. Not near as dark as it's showing. Very pretty. So those are my new flosses for the month, and I got my fabric as well. So this is a 28 count Monaco. It's a 20 by 30. So, and isn't that pretty? Ooh, look, look, look. Blue and white, and there's brown. It kind of looks like coffee, the brown. I thought I'd spilled something. I think Garrett said that too in one of his videos. And No, I didn't spill anything on it. I just, it's got brown all through it. Very mottled. It's very pretty. I love it. I love it. Looks like the sky. Pretty. No idea what that's going to be for. But I'm sure I'll find something. Pretty, pretty. So, oh, I can show this. I got this off of Stash Unload. I think it was $5. Truly, I know, Tracy, $5. Everything's $5. Truly, I think this was $5. And it's a piece of, eight, it's a 13 by 18 piece of black. I don't know if it's linen or even weave. I think it's even weave. Anyway, it's from Jubilee. But it's a 28 count black. Isn't that nice? Don't know what I'm going to do with it. Need a, I definitely need to put that one on my frame and put a light under it because otherwise I'm not going to be able to work on it. I can't see it. So that is that. Okay. This just came in the mail today. I was very excited to get this. Hey, I brought the water bill in with me. Cool. I don't want to pay that. I have to, but I don't want to. Oh, seriously? Well, oh, it's okay. I got to pick out a picture. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Thought I brought everything but the chart. And I did, but I bought the picture. 
Um, I got this on Stash Unload for nine, and don't remember what shipping was. But I've had my eye on this for a long time. It's by Joan Elliott, and it's her Victorian dollhouse. Isn't that awesome? I love the details. Check that out. I love it. That is so going to be a start for next year. Yes, I'm sure you've heard by now. I have decided to do 366 starts next year, one for every day. And here I thought I was going to be insane by myself. Nope. There's a whole bunch of us joining. Uh, there's tons of people on Stitch Mania. There's, there's a bunch in the group. Um, I'm drawing a blank on the name of the group, and that's fun. But uh, but I even talked Katie the Stash Queen. I, I'm sure she's blamed me. I'm so far behind on Floss Tube, I couldn't even know what's going on. But, uh, yeah, I know she's blaming me, and that's okay. I love it. So, yeah, we're all doing a lot of starts next year. So that's going to be one of them, for sure. Love that. If I don't start it now, I can wait. I can wait. Anyway, so I got that. Um... This I ordered from Craftways. I've seen this on Mania a few times, but it's a cross stitch Christmas. Isn't that nice? It's a nice, very nice hardcover book, and um, has some really pretty charts in it. Uh, I like that one. Okay. I like that one right there. It's showing on the cover. Um, don't know who that's by. I don't recognize the names of the some of the designers, but that's okay. I still like them. Oh, I know that one. This is uh, Elizabeth Almond. Nope. Different book. Anyway. There's a lot of really pretty charts in here. Um, so that was nice, and it came with... That's the Elizabeth Almond. See, I knew there was one by her. I love those black work charts. Look at that. Pretty, pretty. And a lot of great charts in here. So it came with, uh, oh, Ursula Michael. That one I know. Ooh, love it. So it was a book, and then it came with this little uh, leaflet, too. It has a lot of really cute little motifs. Um, no finished pictures, just charts, so I can't show you. But, really cute. Really cute. A lot of nice stuff. So I got that in the mail. Got a few things off of eBay. This one came from eBay. This is the Prairie Schooler Amish... I didn't see show that. I hope I didn't show that because I'm not going to back it up. Um, yeah, Amish Life by Prairie Schooler. This is very cute. I love that little little house and some trees and a horse and a buggy and some quilts. And you know me, I love my quilts. Um, anything else come off of eBay? Nope. Yes, this was eBay. Either in no order, can you tell? Love this. Oh. Teresa Wensler Egyptian Sampler. I tell you, it scares me half to death, though. Lots and lots and lots of specialty stitches. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. That was from eBay. I got this at Half Price Books. It was a dollar. You know, and I said, oh, I love it. It's it's too cute. It's just me. I love it. It's called Seasons in Cross Stitch by Sam Hawkins. That's all it says. But I love this. Check this out. You have four windows. It's the same window, but you have spring summer, fall, and winter. And I just love it. I love all the little details. So I like seasonal seasonal stuff. So I got this at my local uh, thrift store. It was a quarter, 25 cents. Um, I think the only thing I really liked out of it was this um, Paula Vaughn chart on the front. But you know, for a quarter, it's more quilts to stitch. Love it. Stitch the quilts, I can get rid of it. Pass it on to the next person. Um, I got these off of Stash Unload. They were a dollar each. So, Lizzie Kate Summer ABCs. Cute, cute. Real fun little quick stitch. I like that. 
and heart in hand. It's called We Stitch. When we stitch, our hearts are rich. Needles for thee. And it's ribbons. You stitch ribbons and a little, uh, supposed to be a little needle book and a scissor fob. But it's just, you know, you stitch it. It's not an actual. It's just ribbons and hearts. And it, I thought it was cute. I like it. I'll stitch it. Um, I got my cross stitch and needlework magazine in the mail. This is the holiday issue. Anyway, love the cover. Ursula Michael. Snow globe. Cute, cute. Um, oh, see, there's a... That's kind of cool. There's an ad for the, uh, the booklet. So you can send away for the booklet. But... Um, had some really cute ornaments in here and birdhouses. There's the snow globe. They're really cute ornaments. Um, I have no idea what I'm looking for. These were cute. I think these are Ursula Michael too. I thought this was really neat because they're in gold and then you can also stitch them in silver. I thought that was cool. So that one's fun. I'm tired. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a little down, but I'm tired. I'm mostly just tired. Uh, okay. I, I've been meaning to show this on Mania and I keep forgetting. I had the most, it was so sweet. It was so sweet. I got an, uh, a message from Sue. Yep, not P A B L E. Pable? Pable? Oh my gosh, I don't know. I botched that. I'm so sorry. But yes, I got a text. Not a text. I got a message from her, and she said she was in her thrift store and she found something that made her think of me instantly, and she wanted to send it to me. And I was just, oh my gosh, I was blown away. It was so sweet of her. And I haven't shown it and thanked her, and it's terrible. But um, I'm behind on everything else in life. Uh. But she sent me, this is so awesome, she sent me two cross-country stitching magazines. Ah, I love it! Okay, this is October of 93. Isn't this awesome? Look at that right there. I love that chart right there. I want to stitch everything in these. These, these are just, these are great. Just absolutely, it was so sweet of her to send them to me. Um, they have such adorable charts in here. Uh, find another one. That I liked. I like them all. Um, that was cute. And then she also sent me the August 2001 issue. Got a nice baskets chart in it. Um, I love stoneware. Check that out. Cute. Just, just absolutely adorable. Adorable, adorable charts. So cute. Um, and then she sent this too. It's a little bit of Alma Lynn. And oh, look at these. These are adorable. So cute. See, I have no trouble with start with charts for next year. I, I have all those charts and I have all these fabulous little charts. I'll stitch that. No problem. I'll stitch these. How cute are those? See, I can, I have plenty of charts to stitch. Just got to get fabric and floss. So that's all that haul. And I have one more haul. And again, just so far behind on everything. Um, I wanted to do this video on Friday when I got home. Friday, Katie, the stash queen, and I got together and had lunch. And we wore the same outfit again without consulting each other, which seems to be the norm. We'll see what happens next week. What color are you wearing next week, Katie? I'm just curious. Uh, she and I and uh, Coffee Stitcher are getting together. And that'll be fun. That'll be so awesome. Twinkle, twinkle. So, uh, but I went up to her neck of the woods and hit her LNS. Um, twisted threads. No, that's not right. I know that. Um, threads that bind. I don't know why I want to call it twisted threads, but I do. Um... And I got all kinds of fun goodies. And some of them I can't show you. Okay, I, I, I can't show you some charts because I did some Christmas shopping. 
and um, some of the people I bought for watch my videos. So I can't show you those. You'll see them eventually, but I can't show them to you. I bought some pretties. I got some Christmas gifts for people. So, but I did buy a few things for myself too. Um, I bought the heart and oop, Blair. Beep. Uh, the heart and hand. No, not, not heart and hand. Hands on design. I can read the hands on design. The last two in the series, the November. And now the sun's coming through again. Fantastic. Uh, the December. Oh, glare. Sorry. The December one. So now I have the whole series. Um, she has a wonderful shop up there uh, in Plano. Uh, may have to be going there now. I don't know what's going to happen to Stitch Niche down in Arlington since the, the owner, Kathy, passed away. So sweet. She was so sweet. Um, but I was very impressed with the, the their price on their uh, gentle arts thread. Their gentle arts was only $2.30 each. Got a weird glare on my face now. And my glasses. Hey. Play with that. Anyway, so I went ahead and got the colors for the whole year because it only takes two threads each one. I I didn't get the chalk yet. They were out of chalk, uh, the gas color chalk. But I haven't decided if I'm going to use that or if I'm going to use uh, DMC 5200. So debating that. But I did go ahead and get all the colors. I had bought the January one at uh, Stitch Niche. Oh, the sun's just going to come through. But I went ahead and get, I don't know what months these are for, but I went ahead and got the rest. I got Sunflower. Pretty. I got Wood Rose. Pretty brown. I got Ginger Snap. I like that one, kind of a rust. Well, the sun's showing the floss up good, isn't it? Uh, this is Schoolhouse Red. This is geranium. All of those are going to be at my starts for next year. Ohio lemon pie. Carrot. This is kind of cool. This one has um, a little bit of variation in it, actually. I know they're all variegated, but that one has a heavy variegation. This is avocado. This one has another. This one has. Uh, it's not as dark as it's showing up, but it has a lot of really cool variegation in it too. This is tea rose. This is lemon drops and mistletoe. So lots of pretty gas threads, and two others jumped into my basket because they were gorgeous, and I had to have them. So this is Purple Iris. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at the color. It's showing up blue. Ah, it's not blue. It's purple. Oh, that doesn't help at all. Oh, that helps a little. Oh, but see, it's so pretty. All kinds of variegation in that. And then this one is Mediterranean Sea. Pretty. Again, it's not nearly as blue as it's showing. It's actually more of an aqua. Better? Nope, not at all. Never gonna have good lighting for videos. Anyway, it's pretty. It's pretty. And I grabbed another. This was this one is another one. I have no clue what I'm gonna use it on, but oh gosh, it was pretty. This is Weeks Dye Works. This is other than uh, the kit I bought for Lizzie Kate. This is my first Weeks floss. It's called Confetti. Look at that! Isn't that pretty? There's blue and green and yellow and orange and red. And I love it. I have no clue what I'm going to do with it, but it was pretty. I had to go home with me. That's how I buy a lot of things. It was pretty. Um, I bought another piece of the San uh, the uh, yeah the Santa's Village from Country Cottage Needleworks. I'm doing a stitch along for that next year, so I'm um, trying to get all 12 of those. I have three now. But this one is Santa's Stocking Store. So, and I bought my first Country Cottage Needleworks Cottage of the Month. Love this series. But I got my first one, and it's March. I love all the green. And this is my first Rosewood Manor. I'm shaking something down. 
You'll see in a second. Uh, this is a Halloween quilt sampler. This was just cool. I, I love, the, you know I love quilts. This is my first Rosewood Manor, and there's a glare. Wow. So, but look at that. Pretty. Love all the different blocks. And what I was shaking down is this itty bitty little spider charm, which I may or may not use because those freak me out. So, and then this one is by Classic Color Works and Diane Williams. And it, yeah, this one was another one that just jumped into the card at the very end. And it's the Queen of Hearts, of course. So, I, I think I'm going to start anytime I see a Queen of Hearts cross stitch chart. I think I have to have that. Uh, I also got something in the mail that day from the Silver Needle up in Tulsa. Um, they have a needlework st store up there. You probably figured that out. Um, by the Silver Needle. But I signed up for an auto uh, shipment of the new Country Cottage Needleworks series, the Gingerbread Village. So I got my first piece for that. Cute little train. I am going to try to wait until I get them all to stitch them because I'm going to stitch them all together like I am for the Santa's Village. It's all going to be a one piece. And um, I want to get the Frosty Friends set too. So that was what I got there. Well, that was it. I think that was all because I have a whole bunch of stuff that hasn't shown up that was supposed to show up. I have needle minders still coming. I have... I have, uh, no, I don't have any more floss coming. I have needle binders, I have fabric, and I, that's all I have. So, half hour, that's okay. I'm just going to make this a haul video. Um, I'm going to go gather my whips to show, so whip progress starts. Um, I'm probably forgetting something. I'm tired. So, thank you. And maybe I'll see you in a little bit. I don't know. I said that last time and it didn't happen. Finishes. I was going to get finishes. That was it. Anyway. Yay. All right. Thanks so much. And I will see you soon. Bye.